Okay, we're going to be looking at three important aquatic insects to help us determine the health of this stream. We're going to look at Ephemeroptera, which are mayflies, Trichoptera, which are caddisflies, and Plecoptera, which are stoneflies. These three are commonly used as bioindicators to help us determine whether or not a stream is healthy or if it's been impacted uh, by pollutants or other things. Oh. So what the students are doing now is called a kick sample. They are kicking the bed of the stream uh, to wrestle up any insects that will be in the bottom of the bed of the stream or that are floating up through the water and then they are ca catching them in these nets so we can get a sample of what is actually in the stream at this time. So it's important that we verify the results from the first kick to make sure that they are a legitimate indicator of the condition of the stream. So we're going to do one more kick. Here you can see our two samples from our kick samples. We'll do one more sample called a server sample where we use the gloves and we dig in the uh, stream bed and around the rocks to get all of the possible living insects within a one meter square area. So what we're doing right now, we call this a first 100 sample. So we've pulled our samples out of the stream and now they're picking through and the first 100 insects they see uh, they're putting, well they're not all insects, they're doing the first 100 invertebrate. All the invertebrates they see up to 100 they stick into that dish and then we're going to use this list here. Uh, different insects have different tolerances. Uh, the lower the tolerance the better the bioindicator. So for example a stonefly is a great bioindicator species. Their indice number is 1.5 on this index. And what we're going to do is, with the 100 bugs that we find, we're going to find what percentage of them are, you know, are they low, are they high, are they medium on the tolerance level. Based on that criterion, we can look here at our indice numbers and figure out if we have an index of less than 6, it's a healthy stream. If the index is maybe 9, then it's very unhealthy because only those insects with a high tolerance level will be found there. If, you know, if 90% of what we find are stoneflies, uh, caddisflies and mayflies, then we know it's a healthy stream because they all have low indicator values. So our index number was lower than six and that will tell us that this particular segment of the stream is in fact in healthy condition. If you wanted to ask the question whether this, per this park in particular was negatively impacting this particular segment of the stream, we could say no. Um, we would probably want to do some more additional samples, but based on what we've done, uh, we, we found lots of stoneflies, lots of mayflies, and that's something that tells us that the, the stream has not been negatively impacted, and the diversity number is pretty high, and that things are in balance so that um, we're not looking at a polluted stream.